But then how do you break that down and actually get to a solution? Yeah, so basically paper with crayons. So you tap into your part of the brain. In the meat suit, as it were. <laughs> um, so where? No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to. Like with fitness. And so I needed to figure out ways that I can lift symmetrically. And I also needed to. Until you have a 100 year timeline. On the other side of the piece of paper. What is the hypothesis that our brains were created to move us come from. You gotta do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now. I moved to Tampa two years ago. I met one of my best friends, Cody, who like dedicated, when I did that preparation for bodybuilding, it was a 12 week. Responsible for creativity, your right brain, okay? With crayons, draw out. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever gonna, yeah, this is, I mean, this is an idea that I, I feel like you can't even explain it. This is an idea that if you look. Figure out more knowledge on nutrition because I didn't know what I was doing when I started. And I actually, when I'm. 50 years, 75 years, one year, uh, 100 years. And look at the, the structure and the function of the brain. Everything that humans do other than. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. Next year, three years, five years, 10 years, 25 years. Joey trained me every single day. And basically, when I started, like when I moved there, he sat me down. It easier not to be a slave to it, that then I sort of understood my sense of agency with it. Tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about? Is the Beatles. Deflecting credit uh, no, for Apple's John. success yeah, by citing his favorite John. band. But together, they logistically and in manufacturing and distribution and if you do all those things right the bottom line will follow rule number eight they helped amplify each other's really good tendencies and that's true of any team and we got a really great team here at Apple thanking them for their work on the I've create a competitive advantage we came up with the software called next step which lets you build apps five to 10 times faster than anything anyone's ever seen. And after you build them, they're deployable and usable by mere mortal. Phone, the and day before its release. And I think everybody who's worked on iPhone and made those sacrifices is gonna feel that it's been worth it. Rule number seven. Because it's really easy to use, this computer. <laughs> and you can interoperate your custom apps seamlessly with a bunch of off-the-shelf productivity apps. So we go to these companies that do right things. Somebody taught me a long time ago a very valuable lesson, which is if you do the right things on the top line, the bottom line will follow. And what uh, use Suns and take two years to write their apps, or are thinking about using Suns, and they can write their apps in about 90 days on the next. Now, if you're on Wall Street and you can write, you can create